Okay, so this video is actually following up another video that is in the channel that is showing you how to create an Iron Bantam script to add different columns to this table. So if I go here and I select a different column, I'm going to add that column there and then I'm going to add that column here and then I'm going to reset the table columns. So the follow-up question is how do I create this? How do I create this reset table columns bottom? How do I create these parameters and so on? So I'm going to start with inserting a text area and I'm going to show how to do this from zero. The first thing that we're going to do is explore the text area menu. So in this specific case, if I go to edit text area, we can see that we have multiple options here. A lot of them are to handle the text that you're adding. So if you want to bigger, different font, different color, central, all of those things. You can also add an image, you can add a link to a website, for example. You can add a background image as well, and different things, background colors and stuff. But let's talk about this icon over here, Insert Action Control. In this option, you will find this user interface that is going to allow you to create the, the display text and a button. So if I want to clear all filters, for example, I can add it there, I can keep it as a button, and I can just select the function that I want this button to do. In this case, I want to reset all filters. So when I click on Add, now this is the action that is going to happen as soon as I do click on this button. So if I click OK, and I save it, and OK, now the Clean All Filters is going to be there. So if I go to my filter panel and if I do filter things around, every time that I click on this, everything should go back to what it was. Everything is back to normal, okay? So that is an example of how to do that. Now the parameters one, two, and three is just a drop down property. So if we go back to edit text area, we will see that we have, in addition to that, a dynamic item and a property control. In this case, we're going to work with the property control, and the property control can be any of these options, a slider and list box, input fields, and stuff. Right now, we want a drop-down list. In the drop-down list, you're going to have this user interface option where you can create your own and say, OK, this is going to be my test, and my test is going to be a string, for example. And then it's going to be a column selection, so I can actually select the columns that I'm going to display on that drop-down. In this case, these are the columns that belong to the table that have loaded on my field. So in this case, 1, 2, and 3, and 4 are going to be available, and then you can click OK, and you can take a look of the drop-down menu. So here you have optional column 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. So now if you need to use that property control in any of the Spotfire interaction, you can do it so. So whenever you need to use it, you will find that that properties are part of the document property now. So everything that I have here, my test, for example, that is the one that I just created, it is here and I can use it now on my expressions, on, on the scripts that I have back seen, so things like that. If I highlight it, I can insert it as a value or insert it as a text, depending on what I want to do with it. So I can use it on my script, for example, and I can use it here to define that these are the columns that I want to add to this table using the script that I have behind the scenes. So that's how these bottoms are added. And you can go ahead and explore all the options that you have in the different parameters. I will recommend to explore these um, action control options because you have a lot of possibilities here within the functions, within the bookmarks, or within the pages. So you can actually point to any of these options using a button or using a link or using your own image. So you can create very nice looking dashboards and you can create a very easy to navigate menu where the user is going to be just clicking around uh, for the different options.